I came out of the nursing home and I wept in the parking lot. Gwen Orlowski toured Woodland Behavioral Health and Nursing Center last month after reading disturbing reports from federal inspectors that conditions there threaten the lives and safety of its 450 residents. It's been called one of the consistently worst nursing homes in New Jersey. I would describe the conditions that I saw on that first visit and I went back a second time as inhumane. Woodland was formerly called Andover Subacute. It's the same place first responders found 17 bodies stacked in a makeshift morgue during COVID's initial deadly surge in April 2020. The facility paid a $220,000 fine then, but now federal regulators are threatening to cut off Medicaid and Medicare funding, basically shut the place down, if Woodland doesn't fix severe violations by tomorrow, March 3rd. Orlowski heads Disability Rights New Jersey and has the legal right to inspect premises. The smell immediately struck me. I mean, it smelled like urine and feces. The third floor uh, was populated by residents who appear to have serious mental illness. Um, maybe also some individuals with dual diagnosis with intellectual and developmental disabilities. People are screaming, televisions are blaring call bells are going off, constantly being unanswered. Orlowski says Woodland presents itself as a behavioral unit, but explains there's no such thing under New Jersey licensing regulations and that nobody here receives psychiatric therapy. She claims a second visit showed mopped floors and clean sheets, but called those quick cosmetic fixes. She's deeply concerned about the 190 or so third floor residents. The sort of essence of what's wrong there is that individuals who have specific needs based upon their disabilities are being warehoused there in a way that is violating federal law, I have no doubt, and also just should wrench our moral conscience as New Jerseyans. It is not conducive to wellness for the souls who are living there. And many of the people that, you know, that I met there said, that they feel like prisoners. Long-term care ombudsman Lori Brewer says Woodland's chronically understaffed and poorly managed. COVID ran rampant among staff and residents during the Omicron peak. She says the best plan for now is to move some residents out. That's happening, but despite federal deadlines, it will take several months. There's no way that you can just shut off the funding and close the place down. People are being assessed now for potentially for community-based placements where they will get the mental health services and supports that they need and that they are definitely not getting at Woodlands. New Jersey's Department of Health is also working with Brewer's Office, the Department of Human Services, and Woodland, and today stated it's still seeking a special monitor, actively exploring the qualifications of candidates to be appointed as a monitor to ensure the appointment entity has the skill set to effectively and independently monitor the facility. Woodland didn't respond to our request for comment. Brewer, meanwhile, applauds President Biden's State of the Union comment about improving nursing home care. As Wall Street firms take over more nursing homes, quality in those homes has gone down and costs have gone up. That ends on my watch. Medicare is going to set higher standards for nursing homes and make sure your loved ones get the care they deserve and that they inspect. There are, um, you know, a number of privately owned um, long-term care facilities that in New Jersey and Woodlands is a perfect example that their business model is to pack in a lot of Medicaid um, people and not to provide virtually no services for them. The White House wants nursing homes to adopt new minimum staffing ratios, single room occupancy, more financial transparency, and tougher safety and inspection regulations. After COVID burned through New Jersey nursing homes, causing more than 8,000 deaths and exposing a dire long-term care crisis, the state passed legislation addressing many of those issues. But Medicaid's current reimbursement rates $216 per person per day. An industry rep, Andy Aaron, and says that continues to put some nursing homes at a disadvantage. Where those high Medicaid occupancy buildings are funded at a low level, they're paid at a low level, they struggle for resources, and then they get fined and penalized. But Aronson says Woodland's not representative of the industry. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid did not respond to our request for an update on Woodland as we went to broadcast. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.